The holidays can be a joyful season or a stressful one. That's why in this morning's Eye on Health report, one local licensed therapist is encouraging you to choose wisely. November is Stress Awareness Month. While many are expecting to host holiday parties and festive family gatherings, many are vulnerable to falling victim to holiday stress. What to fix, how to show up, who to bring, who not to bring, who sits next to who, who doesn't. Local licensed therapist Susan Harrington says there are three stages of stress. Good stress, bad stress, and exhaustion. Good stress is commonly known as fight or flight. A pounding heart rate, our pulse might go up, muscle tension might happen, that sort of thing. Bad stress or resistance is when the body builds a tolerance for living in distress and begin causing various physical, emotional and relational health problems. It'll show up like isolation, irritability, illness, we'll start getting frequent colds and things like that will happen. And the last stage, exhaustion, where someone is living under too much stress for a long period of time. And that's when those symptoms look even worse because we begin to feel hopeless. Harrington says managing good stress happens when you take breaks, plan ahead, stay connected, and most importantly, find meaning. Identify what is meaningful to the event for you. That's going to be good for you and good for others. That is what's most important to manage stress. For more tips on how to manage stress during the holiday season, visit our website klfwine.com.